What is going on guys? So today got a new update. Uh, update just came out. Uh, basically this is going to be the player appreciation event. Um, so just kind of a, just a way to give back to all the players. Um, just to say thank you for playing. Um, if you are you know, paying attention to the server or you played it back um, not even like that long ago. Maybe maybe two three weeks ago. Really before I started doing the daily videos. The daily videos definitely seem to have helped. Um, that's the only thing I can really think of that's different. Where we at right now? 15 right now, and it's 7:26 on a Monday. That's that's West Coast as well. So 10 10 Eastern, and then like the middle of the night for Europeans. So 15 is amazing compared to what we were at um, like two three weeks ago. And uh, I think the most we've had I, I mean, yesterday we had 25 on yesterday. I think according to the most online is 28, but I can't remember if. Um, if that's happened recently or if that happened before I'm not a hundred percent sure I think that happened uh, recently because I think I reset it eventually uh, when I um when we started getting players again but um yeah there was a, a period there where it was two or three weeks maybe and uh, no one logged in it, I mean it was there, there was a there's a handful of people that still played and I don't really want to shout them out because I feel like I'm gonna forget somebody I don't want to forget anybody make them feel bad but if you played for that time, you know who you were. I mean, for the most part, I'll, I will shout out one person just because he's staff, so he, he counts. Matt. Matt and Grinch, both of them, both mod, or, well, I guess Matt's an admin now, but uh, the other one, Grinch, is a mod. Um, it was really just the three of us most days. Um, I guess I am going to start shouting people out. Shad Cloud, Natsu, Shameless, and Napalm, which I haven't seen. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's the same person, just on he had two accounts. I haven't seen him in a while. Um, there was a ton of people that um, stayed, right? But the problem was um, they, we were rarely ever on. I mean, Mather still played. Uh, Jer Jervik, whatever, still played. There's tons of people. I didn't want to shout people out because I knew I was going to forget people. So I apologize if I forget you. But, um, you know, we had maybe 10 or so different people that played the game. The problem was we rarely ever played at the same time. Um, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. It might from mom drums, but not from like. So sorry about answering that. Um, so yeah, there was about ten or so people that played, but rarely ever on at the same time. There'd be a lot of instances where I would log in, and it was literally just me online. And um, right up towards the end of it, I was I honestly was ready to give up. Like like two days before. We actually started getting players again. I was ready to give up. I was I was super down. I thought that there was nothing we could do to to revive it, because people always like to sass me about you know my my history on of running private servers and whatnot. And that's that's fair. You can you know you can say what you will. I'm not here to defend that or argue against that. But Asylum, the original Asylum, if anybody remembers that, um, if you were a subscriber for that time went through that the same thing pretty much it had a pretty big release actually I don't know I don't remember if Dino made a video or not but I know he was on it a, a little bit Dino was on it John was on it and this was back when even when uh, freaking uh, ninja was a um, was was like doing RSPS stuff and whatnot and um, so we had we you know we, we started off pretty big I can't remember how the highest it ever went to but it was a decent server bigger than this one ever started off at and um, it it for whatever reason, I, I, I mean, it was a harder server to work with. That's the good thing about this server, is the fact that, one, we had Dark Asylum. And people always like to talk trash about how short my servers are. Dark Asylum lasted six months. That's, that's I mean, that's got to be up there as one of the longest. And it really didn't end because of, like, low player count. It ended because of personal issues that I went through and the fact that no one else was there to really take it over. I think somebody, I think, um, Primark... I think he did try to take it over, but I don't remember how that actually worked out. But either way, the point I'm trying to make is that um, we Asylum was around for quite a while, and uh, we had maybe about the same player count, which is, is which is respectable. But I think we had a little bit lower. I think it was more like you'd have like seven, and, and like fifteen would be high, whereas right now we're, we're twenty five would be high. And um, it, I just never. I mean, I did videos all the time. I did like update videos and whatnot, and I just was never able to was never able to get the player count back up. So I was really, um, with this server, I was really concerned that that wouldn't, that was going to, you know, history was going to repeat itself and then we were never going to be able to, to climb back up. You know, I updated, um, I wouldn't say every day because I sort of moved on to um, 
doing sort of like update batches where I, I work on a lot of things at like the end of the week or whatever and then release them. So it's more like weekly or sometimes every two weeks, but nice, nice. But whenever it does happen, it's normally a fat list as you can see. I mean, obviously there's a ton of pictures that kind of like makes it look bigger, but uh, trust trust me, this you know, there's good stuff in there. A lot of quality of life fixes this time. Wasn't too many actual bits of content, but because I wanted to focus on this event. Uh, so I know this video is talking about the event, but uh, just kind of bear with me. This is going to be a little rambly because it's essentially just me saying thank you for playing the server. So, yeah, I was, you know, I was sad about the way things were going. I didn't think we were going to climb back up. Um, try to decided to do the daily videos, and I don't know if that's exactly what helped or if it was just I did enough content to make some people want to come back. And then it was a combination of the two. I'm not entirely sure. If you're one of the people that recently came back, let me know why. If it was the daily videos or if it was just a specific piece of content that you really liked. Um, so just, yeah, just let me know on that. But, yeah, we've been getting back up to, you know, respectable. I mean, like, every time I log in, there's at least, you know, five, six, seven people actually there. Because sometimes back in the day, you'd log in, there'd be, like, six people online, but every single person was AFK. And uh, there's still a couple of AFKers, obviously. We just updated, so all of these people are legit. Um, but... Yeah, it's awesome. There's actually people talking. There's um, forums are actually getting a little more attention lately. Um, you know, we're making progress. It's 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 awesome. And this whole event is really just kind of to say thank you, because I was ready to give up. I thought I thought there was nothing we could do. I thought this was going to be the end. And I'm so happy that it's not the case. I'm so happy we've got players again, and uh, we got a lot of um, we got a lot of resources to work with. We're slowly working on these updates. I really want to get an invention out. It's just kind of like one of those things where I need some help from Dark, and Dark is he lives in Syria, and um, the internet is like really bad there, and most websites are blocked. I think recently he just said TeamViewer got blocked, and that's going to make it very difficult to work in the f work on things in the future, but you know, we'll have to figure out what we can do about that. So I'm just kind of doing the best I can with with the, uh, with what I can do, you know. I'm, try I'm trying to do the best I can with my abilities. So obviously there's going to be problems here and there, things I just can't do, but I think the good thing about this server is we had Dark Asylum for six months, and I, I spent that entire, and we, b before Dark Asylum was released, we actually spent about two months on it. So eight months of time developing and whatnot, so I've, I've, I've um, if you're wondering what the source is, it's Vincillo, Vincil I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Vincillo, but... Um, uh, you know, I've learned a fair bit about it. I know how to do most things, and it's it's. I think it's. I'm thinking I'm proving that. I think there's there's been a lot of good update batches and whatnot, and a lot of stuff that I didn't really think I'd be able to pull off. Like, I mean, if you look at my servers in the past, a, an event like this really wouldn't have been, you know, doable. I'll show you the shop in a sec because this yeah, this video is supposed to be about the event, but I just kind of wanted to get off on a ramble just to say, you know, to say my piece on. Oh, we were at Man Mystery Box. I totally forgot that was even a thing. Um, so, yeah, this event is pretty straightforward. Kill Jogers. If you're a skiller, you can um, collect these. I'll just show you. Collect these thingies on the wall. I believe they're only down here. I'm not sure if they're all over, but you can see right here. This fungus on the wall. I think we have, like, two or three skillers, so I figured I'd just do this for them. I, I don't know how good it is. I don't think it's that good compared to killing them, so if you can kill them, just kill them. But uh, if you're a skiller, and then you come over here, and I'll show you the options. So you have um, a tribal set. It's cosmetic. Probably would have made more sense to do the one he's wearing. I did the blue one. But now that I think about it, it probably would have made more sense to do that one. Either way, special box, which we got right here. I don't want to open these because I'm going to collect a bunch of these and do a video tomorrow. So you can... Or, uh, I don't know if it's going to be... It, it depends on how many I have. If I have a lot tomorrow. If I don't, the next day. But I'm going to stockpile a bunch of these. Because I think these 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 opening videos are a lot better if it's legit. And like it's not like me just spawning it and then I empty it all because it means nothing. This stuff will actually mean something. If I get anything good, I'll be able to use it and whatnot. So I think that'll be more interesting. Title. The title is Legend. Um, the Beads of the Dead, which... Uh, if you want to see the stats for any of this stuff, you can either pause or just look at the forms. I will have this in the description below. Uh, you have these uh, Brudu shields, which are hybrid shields, range mage. The, t the height that you can't upgrade it, it goes to three. And the highest one, obviously, you can see these stats. Uh, a little smaller than uh, the individual wards, but obviously this is both of them. It has prayer bonus. And then there is a pet, which you can gamble for 1k, or 1K points. Uh, the rate is 1 in 100. Uh, I'm not going to show that off. Would rather just somebody get it. Although, if you know this area much, you could probably figure it out. But, yeah, in terms of other updates, the f uh, last two skilling pets are added. 
the uh, the crafting one, and then the fletching one is a little chompy chick. Uh, the only one that's not in game is the hunter one because there's sort of um, debate on if it should be a chinchampa or if it should be something else. Considering there's no chinchampas in game, chinchampas aren't in game because they don't work, and I feel stupid to add them if they don't work. And I tried looking into adding them. It's just it's above my skill set. It's just something I can't really do. Uh, I don't really want to. I should have brought. You know what? I, I, should, I was going to say, I should have brought Alk runes. Yeah. Well, I sh I, I've got my Alk runes, but no. No, the right spell, but corrupt me. So. But, uh, yeah, that's this event. Uh, just get here by doing Colon Colon event. And, um, in terms of other updates, yeah, just a couple quality of life things. 30 each pickaxe works. Range, max, ra uh, max cape and range skill capes work as Ava's. Uh, barrel sets can now be put into the sets. Remove the duel arena. Uh, first person who lost a stake quit. So, that's fun. Uh, gambling on small servers just doesn't work. Once the server gets bigger, if we can get up to, like, maybe 50, 60 players, I'll revisit adding it. But for now, I, I, think, it, I think gambling just hurts small servers. It, it, it provides no benefit. If you're wondering why all these sticks are on the floor, uh, whenever you get these, they, they have a base drop, so no matter what happens, you get some trading sticks. And then every once in a while, as you see in the chat, there's nobody gotten it in a while. Really? Trading sticks right here. Whenever you get both drops, it combines them, but leaves one on the floor. So you do get both. You don't have to worry about it. But uh, there's a visual glitch where one stays on the floor. So I know people are going to ask about that. But it's, it's annoying, because obviously you're going to keep thinking you have trading sticks, but... If you stay in one spot, their respawn time is set to 5 seconds, so if you just stay in one spot, you're fine. This dude's here, so I might go down there. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple to figure out. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, come check it out.